Previously on Whistler. If Beck was the blackmailer, then where's the money? Your guess is as good as mine. Uncle Ryan's snooping. What is up with that? I don't know. Money funds transfer complete for 50 grand. That's a lot of scratch. What was Beck doing with all that money? How did he send it? If I didn't know better, I'd say he had a boyfriend. Me? A boyfriend? Come on. Pull the ads and stop the campaign. Those commercials are going to launch this entire campaign. It's all right here. You seal the deal when you cash the endorsement check. He's right, you know, Quinn. I never would have missed that turn. You really think it was an accident? For a few minutes, I'm not staying the night. I know. You know you always say that. Because you have a reputation, and I don't want to have one. Then why do you always stay anyway? Please tell me someone got this for you. I like Nick Nolte. Sure you do. We can watch something else. Then maybe a massage. No, I mean, what are you doing up so early? You're never up before noon. But I'm not up early. I just haven't gone to bed yet. I just need one of these so the hangover doesn't kick in before I get home. Ever wanted to go out one last time before she heads off? Takes off where? You know, she's going to Switzerland to visit her old man for a month. She didn't tell you? No, um, me and Amber haven't really talked that much lately. Are those guys bugging you? Uh, not really. Everybody just wants to get a good look at Beck's widow. It's getting kind of tired. You know, people stare at you for other reasons, care. You know what would you know? You're still drunk. True. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, man. I think he was trying to do the gold medal run. Man, dude did the gold medal face run. It was like, <laughs> what up? Hey, what did you say, man? What did I say? It's none of your damn business, punk. I'll make it my damn business, punk. Huh? Hey, Dave! Oh, man, say it again. Say it again! Hey, Dave! Hey, Dave! What the hell was that? 
Did you hear what that guy said about Beck? People need to start to learn some respect around here. Well, they're not going to learn it by you flipping out and destroying the place. AJ. I'd probably still tweet from last night, okay? Just, just go home and get some sleep, okay? Yeah, fine. I got a little distracted. Alistair Sports Report, right after this. The mountain is everything. You know, I'm the luckiest guy in the world. I get to do what I love and travel around the world. Have Hey. Hey, Quinn. I made you some eggs. Uh, sorry, Mom. I can't. I gotta get the panties. Okay, well, can you, you stay for a few minutes? No, I don't have time, but I will try to make for dinner. Well, okay. I, I, I'm making lasagna, so you should get me home by six. Yeah, I said a try. Oh, no, no. Trying's not good enough. I want this family to spend some time together. Can you help... It's a beautiful morning. I thought you'd be up top. I didn't really feel like riding alone. I guess it's going to take us all a little while to get back to normal. Well, you put the campaign together pretty fast. Yeah, it was just business, AJ. You have to learn to look at every obstacle as an opportunity. something extra and not make it worth drinking? Nicole, about our meeting today? This disables the maid's key cards, so they won't be able to bother us. I'm not sure if I should be impressed or a little put off. Man's gotta have his secrets. Not from me. Besides, I have ways of making you talk. I gotta go. Let's pick this up later. Spying on the little guests? No, just staring into the future. Future looks big. Code 181. You haven't used that one in a while. Well, you're a hard man to track down lately. Just trying to stay on top of the new people. <laughs> I bet you are. Look, I wanted you to know that we have a special guest coming in tomorrow. We may be doing business together, so it's important that they're well taken care of. Understood. I want you to show her the facilities and make sure she has everything she needs. Absolutely. Good. Because Melina says she can't wait to see you again. Melina? Mm-hmm. She'll be here at noon. I trust that won't be a problem? No. Of course not. They must have just put them up. Yeah. This isn't going away, is it? No. But it doesn't mean that we can't do anything about it. What's the name of that magazine that's been calling us for an interview? Pillar. Pillar. So 
I think that we should call them and tell them we're ready to talk. But I'm not ready to talk. But Jen, this is perfect. This will give us a chance to let everyone know what Verlin's done to our family. Yeah, I just, I feel like I've lost him once already, and I feel like I'm losing him all over again. And honest to God, I, I just I don't, I don't know what to do anymore. All right, but you do the public stuff. I'm not ready to share my private memories. Well, you don't have to talk about anything you don't want to. Story. No. But your dad gave you Beck's truck. Yeah, he did. Engine trouble and all. It's gonna cost me like 300 bucks. Nice gift. So, what was so important? You can tell me on the phone. Two things. They're a little bit more show than tell. You finally finished it. 67 BSA Spitfire. Just put the chain drive in this morning. Sweet. You have no idea what you're looking at, do you? Not a clue. Come on. Let's take it for a spin. Go ahead and extra helmet. I can't wear this. Come on. <laughs> all right. But hey, let's swing by my uncle's place. I have been following that guy for a week, and all I found out is that he's hooking up with Carrie's sister. Man, you guys just can't stay away from that family. Oh, fun effort. Anyway, there's still no sign of that money. That's because Beck never transferred the money to Ryan. Wait, what, what? How do you know that? I went to the company's website and put in the tracking number. You know, real high-tech stuff. I said I had two things. Yeah, well, that should have been number one. Hey, I've been working on this bike for six months. Okay, Fiend, Fiend, just tell me who Beck sent the money to. A guy named Wayne Bender. Lives in Squamish. Wayne Bender? Quinn... What would Beck have wanted with a guy like that? A guy like what? Ever heard of the Black Cobras? Yeah, yeah, it's a biker game. Wayne Bender is King Cobra. Vandalism, aggravated assault, suspicion of producing methamphetamine. What the hell are we doing getting involved with a guy like this? Oh, well, you're obviously not going to find out anything from Uncle Ryan without getting your head smashed in with a poker. Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go see this guy. Hi, Mom. Can I borrow your truck for a couple hours? Did you ask your dad? Yeah, but uh, I thought I'd try the good cop. <laughs> well, I have to uh, go to Pemberton this afternoon and then... Adam? I was hoping I'd find you here. My God, I can't believe it's you. <laughs> so great to see you. Yeah. Look amazing. Yeah. I, did you get taller? <laughs> this must be Quinn. Yeah. I, I'm really more of a handshake kind of guy. Uh, Quinn, this is um, Adam Lawson. He's one of my best friends in the whole world. <laughs> he went to high school with your dad and I. What are you doing in the country? I, I thought you were covering the war in Iraq for the Times. Yeah, well, let's just say living in a war zone loses its luster after a while. I moved back about a month ago. Took a job with Pillar Magazine. Oh, you're, you're, uh... You're doing the article on Beck. Jenna, I, I was so sorry to hear. Yeah, well, um... It's, it's good that... You, I, I'm glad that you're doing the article. Oh, my God, it's so good <laughs> to see you. <laughs> if I would have known it was going to be like this, it would have came a lot sooner. Mm -hmm. Uh, Mom, book the truck. Ethan, look who it is. No. Yeah. Really? Ah. No, that's great. Oh, my God. What are you doing here, man? Oh. So good to see you. What are you doing? Uh, what's he yeah, doing here? He's writing the story on Beck. Kids. Adrian, you remembered. How could I forget? Good to see you again. I trust you had a good flight. Oh, Monsieur. Mm. You know I hate to fly. 
This is the first I've traveled since Torino. Too bad your boy took that tragic fall. Yes, we're still in shock. But I see you've been able to make the best of things. Well, it seems with every dark cloud is a gold lining. Mm. Ah, and here is your guide now. Ryan will take care of everything you need. Ryan. You look as handsome as ever. Oh, well, thank you, Melina. You're as stunning as ever. Adrian tells us you may be doing business with us. Well, that depends if I like what I see. Well, he will also be showing you around personally. You are in very good hands. I have no doubt. In fact, I remember exactly how good you are with your hands. I haven't seen you since AJ's party last week. Yeah, that's pretty messed up. Totally. I thought that kid was gonna die. It's a good thing your uncle showed up. Yeah. So you doing okay? Yeah, I'm good. I'm a little weird about AJ, though. I mean, every time I see him, he's like half in the bag. Nice. You've you been seeing him a lot? A couple of times, yeah. Carrie, I need to ask you something. What? Can I borrow your car? Um, oh, come on, I just need it for a few hours. I'll bring it right back. Sorry, Quinn, I can't. It's Nicole's. I'd be more than happy to drive you, but I gotta work a double shift today, so. I should be off around 8, though, if, if you wanna do something. Quinn? This one is beauty. This one is from the 2004 Worlds. And as far as I'm concerned, it was Beck's best showing yet by far, and that includes Torino. Wow. Isn't it hard having this stuff around? No. I want people to remember. And remember how hard we worked. No. Then why are you upset with Barlin for putting up those banners and honoring Beck's win? Because it's not about honor, it's it's about Adrian Barlin using my son to make money. Beck did choose to sign Barlin. No, but that's not the point. No, I'm not saying. Hey. Hey. Can I get you guys anything? No, I'm good. Huh? No, thanks. I've uh, got to get back to the hotel, pick up a fax. Hey, Adam, why don't you come up for dinner? Yeah, I used to come up for dinner tonight. It'd be good. Yeah, sure, okay. Jen's lasagna. Uh, I can eat that. I'll see you. If Mr. Varshney needs anything else, just put him directly through to me. Absolutely. Hey, where have you been? What? I've been trying to reach you all afternoon. Thought we could use this. Oh, yeah, sorry. I've been busy taking care of a client. Yeah, I saw... Didn't look like you had to work very hard. Oh, Mrs. Saris is a friend of Adrian's. She's got me on a leash the next couple of days. You on a leash? I could go with that. I really should go. I've got to take care of some things. Oh. Okay. Sure. Hey, Eric. I need you to look up a guest for me. Saris? Melina Saris? She's not in the system. Why not? Not that kind of guest. She's an executive VIP. Capital V. Anything else you're going to have to ask Mr. McKay? He always deals directly with her when she's in town. And I mean directly. Well, it looks magnificent, Adrian. And very expensive. I can see why you want my money. Man, this is only the beginning. Mm. Hey, Dad. How the hell are you? Melina, you remember my son, AJ? Mm -hmm. Of course she does. How could I forget this fine piece? AJ. <laughs> Please, we are trying to do some business here. Come on, Dad, let me stay. 
I mean, after all, this will all be mine someday, right? You know, you are really lucky to be doing business with my dad. He's a really smart guy. You know, he figured out how to turn a dead kid into cold, hard cash. Yeah, that's it. I want you out of here now. And yeah, what are you going to do about it? Was that the best you got? Yourself. Life is short, Kara. You live, you drink, and you die. <laughs> and then some guy puts your ugly face up on a billboard. It's pretty sweet, isn't it? Hey, Jane. We're all upset about Beck. Upset? Who's upset? Oh, well, Beck was lucky to get out early. Here's to you, Beck. Whatever the hell you want. I was just uh, looking. I know exactly what you were looking for, meth head. But my dad doesn't make that crap anymore. You, you think I want meth? What, you, you're right. I I am jonesing like crazy. But hey, if you don't have any, then I, sh I should just get going. Not so fast. I'm pretty sure my dad's going to want to deal with you.
judging from some of the audience reactions earlier in player introductions, it would seem as though a great many dedicated fans have traveled a long way to get here tonight. We are expecting a fantastic hockey game. <laughs> Don't you ever embarrass me like that again. I didn't say anything that wasn't true. What are you doing? I'm cutting you off. You're not going to spend another cent of my money if you don't respect how it's made. Oh, you mean by raping the dead? I am so out of here. It was like the time we got busted by the cops leaving that beach party. We almost got away, right? Oh, almost, yeah, except when you turn down Watson Street, rented that roadblock. I thought we were going to go to jail. <laughs> you know, we probably would have, except he then turns to the cops and says, sorry, I'm sorry. My girlfriend's having a seizure. I just want to get her to the hospital. Yeah, but then you shined this flashlight at me and asked why I'm soaking wet from head to toe. Right. What do you say? <laughs> well, instead of saying she went to the lake, you go, look him straight in the face and say, if you must know, my condition makes me lose control of my bladder. <laughs> I can't believe you rip all of this. Are you kidding me? I mean, everybody knows that story. <laughs> you guys were like rock stars. Whistler's perfect couple. Mm -hmm. I always knew you two would end up living happily ever after. So, does anybody want any coffee? I'm going to, uh, well, it's way later than I thought. i got to get down to the tavern and help Lisa out. Saturday's our busiest night, so. Yeah, I'll come on later. Okay, come down for a beer. Sure. Yeah, I'm just going to help Jen with the uh, dishes. Okay. Hotel's not that big. Why didn't you tell me you knew her? It didn't come up. Please tell me you can do better than that. Okay. The last few times she's been here, we kind of had a thing. And do you have a thing now? No. I told her I was involved with someone. Someone I really care about. Really? <laughs> what did she say? She laughed. Melina doesn't really believe in caring about anything she doesn't own. Look, I'm sorry, but I didn't lie to you. No, but you didn't tell me the truth either. If this is gonna work, you have to be honest with me. I can take it. Look, let me make it up to you. I will make dinner tonight, and then we'll watch a movie. Sure. Just anything but the Prince of Ties. Uh -huh. I will have your apps. You know what? You were finished here. I'm serious. He wanted a room. I just received strict instructions from Mr. Varlet not to allow him on the premises. Okay, if he comes back, call the police. I'm really glad you're here. It's good to be back. I missed you. Well, I really respect what you did, you know, getting out of Whistler, making something of yourself. Well, I wasn't much of a skier, so I had to find something else. <laughs> I'm being humble. I mean, you can travel the old world to these amazing places. You're a brilliant writer. Just about write everything you've written. Really? You know, you could have easily done what I do. In high school, you were always a better writer than me and way, way more disciplined. Well, that part's right. I floated around for years trying to find my mission. You knew what you wanted right from the start. I was admiring that. You're right. I'm serious. It's a brave thing to start a family so young. You have to be selfless. But you built yourself a real life here. Your life doesn't seem so bad. Well, it's not as great as it seems. I haven't had a single relationship last more than a year. That's why I came back here and took this job. I was feeling kind of... kind of deep. I haven't gone anywhere to feel the same way. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love being a mother, but it just seems you can put your whole life into something and then, and then all of a sudden it's gone. Thank 
Floors and making the doors wider so I can get her out. Sounds pricey. Her, and she's got some kind of insurance settlement or something. Oh. So what, what does that pay out? Like forty, fifty grand? Okay. Yeah. Just drank too much. Kind of got a beat. Oh. Okay. <laughs> well, I'll just wait here. Are you sure you don't need help? Hey, set eyes closed. You are such a wuss. I mean, what are you even still doing here? It's a girl in a wheelchair. I mean, at least it's a fair fight. She's got a gun, okay? Ooh, the cripple on the toilet. Yeah, easy for the dead guy to say. Whatever. If you want to get out of here, now's your chance. Man, that sucked. I can never go when I know someone's listening. There as soon as I can. Oh. Ryan, I was hoping to find you. You must join me for dinner. I'm sorry, Melina, I can't. Oh, come now. I'm sure your little girlfriend wouldn't mind if you accompany an old friend out for an innocent meal. Albeit an incredibly expensive one. I really do have some place I need to be. I see. This girl of yours must be quite special. She is. Well, then at least be a gentleman and walk me out. It would be my pleasure. Maybe I should call you a cab. This bus stop running about an hour ago. You come here to give me a lecture? Just want to hang out? Unless you two would rather be alone. No, he's making me do all the talking anyway. <laughs> You know, I hated this corporate stuff. I mean, we used to tag these stupid billboards all the time. Was it you who put that big mustache on Tyra Banks at the airport? <laughs> that guy did mustaches. <laughs> I think it's because he couldn't grow one. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that time you tried? <laughs> <laughs> I think it was horrifying. <laughs> it took me like a week to convince him that three little hairs is not a mustache. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's kind of stupid, but I still got a cell number on my phone. Me too. Actually, I was going to call him tonight, but I didn't know if my long distance phone would come This is Nicole Miller. You know what to do. Hey, babe, look, I'm really sorry. I'm gonna have to push dinner a couple hours. I gotta take care of some stuff here at work.
You've reached Ryan's cell. Varden Resort, Eric speaking. Hey, Eric, it's Nicole Miller. Can you put me through to Ryan? Sorry, Nicole. Ryan's already gone. Are you sure? Yeah, he left here about an hour ago. With Miss Saris. Oh, um... Okay, thanks. There you go, kid. He's already got your bike. Thanks, Dale. I owe you one. What are you doing here? You'd rather have your dad drive down here and pick you up? You can call him if you want. It's a pretty sweet ride. Yeah, when it starts. So this is the part where you give me the lecture and ask what a good kid like me is doing breaking into some big biker's house. But I guess you already know that. Well, it's none of my business. Look, Uncle Ryan, I know that Beck gave Bender that money. And that you deleted the records from his computer, so just tell me what the hell you three were up to. You know, considering what I just bailed you out of, you're hardly in a position to demand anything. Okay. I guess I'll just keep asking around till I find out. Get in. Birthday last November. Not really. Beck and AJ ditched me. They drove in a van to party at some big club downtown. Yeah, well, I guess the party got a little out of hand. Yeah? I need you to take care of something. That night, AJ and Beck got so drunk they got kicked out of their hotel. And instead of trying to find another one, they decided to drive home. Bad idea. All right. Thank God you're here, man. I didn't know what to do. He was wasted. He wanted to drive, and it was his birthday, and I... I, I know I shouldn't have let him, but I was wasted, too, and... I thought it was cool, but I guess he passed out, and... Oh, man. He's fine. I swear, He's man. gonna be fine. They must have come out of nowhere. I didn't even see anything. I thought that we hit a deer. I mean, I, what was someone doing on the side of the road this late at night? Where? Over there, by the trees. Danny Bender. Beck, put her in that wheelchair. But how... We made it go away. I got her to the hospital and Adrian used his pole to make sure nobody ever found out what happened. What, and Beck just went along with that? He was so out of it that night he didn't even remember getting in the car. When he found out, he wanted to turn himself in. But he didn't. No. Adrian convinced him not to. Would have ruined his chances to go to the Olympics. Beck ruined that girl's life. Maybe. But letting the world know wasn't going to change that. No, Adrian told Beck to keep his eye on the gold and he would make sure the benders were well taken care of. Adrian did your brother a huge favor. Why do you think he signed on to promote Barlin Gear? Well, if AJ's dad took care of everything, then why would Beck give Bender even more money? Because Adrian lied. He didn't give Bender a cent, and Beck found out. We had a deal. Beck, it was too dangerous. We couldn't risk the money being traced back to you. Oh, don't you mean back to you? Then maybe I should just turn myself in. I'm sure the cops would love to know what really happened. 
Now you help me cover it up. I'm gonna overlook that because you're young. But here's a little tip for the future. If you're gonna threaten someone, you have to be able to hold something over them. And believe me, son, you couldn't reach that high. I'm back. I mean, helping those people just wasn't possible. They're criminals. They're closely watched by the police. And you and your family have worked too hard to throw it all away over one stupid mistake. That must have been why you decided to blackmail Shelby. Guess he figured he'd get the money out of Arlen somehow. Quinn, I didn't know about the blackmail until you showed me those photos. That's the truth. Yeah, well, excuse me if I don't take your word for it. I'll get out of here. Quinn, wait. I know you think I should have been straight with you. Maybe you were right. But believe me, sometimes the truth's too heavy for some people to handle. Just help me on the bike. I think it looks good. Very sophisticated. <laughs> Just needs one more thing. Are you sure you can't go back home? Uh, no, it's a pretty bad scene. It's cool though, I'll just scratch with some friends for a while. Okay. Hey, I said I wouldn't let you, but I'm not letting you drive home like this. What? Nothing, I'm just not used to all this concern. You can get him back tomorrow. Nicole, it's me again. I went by your house, but the lights were off. Call me when you get this. Nothing upsets me But the fact that I Just about to call the cops. Well, somebody beat you to it. Long story. You went to Bender's house. So? What'd you find out? I think you need a new starter. This is Naveed. He's my tour guy in Baghdad. Um, he's nine and he wants to be a soccer player. They have some great photos of Beck at that age. I should give them to you for the article. Yeah, that'd be great. Jen, I'm sorry. Um, can you take this photo? I gotta go tap another kick. Okay, be right back. I'm gonna see the rest of those. You got it. <clears throat> it's me. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's going pretty well. You can get some great stuff. But I think there's a lot more to the story I need to check out. It's going to take a while. On a brand new episode of Whistler. Blackmail. Hit and run cover up. Affair with a married woman. Are there any other bombs going to explode? Do you need any more? So, you and Carrie, huh? Let's just say there's nothing that Beth did that I didn't do better. Hey. Oh, my God. You're AJ, huh? You really think it's okay to go after my best friend? You think I'm dead or this might kill me? The End's newest hit drama, Whistler. A new episode next Friday at 9 Eastern.